heard uh, today that the ethics commissioner has found another Justin Trudeau minister guilty of breaking ethics laws. And this comes at a time when Canadians are struggling to put food on the table for their families, record high inflation, choosing between heating their homes and feeding their families. And what's the news from the Liberal government? Not that they have Canadians' backs, but instead they are helping their insider friends, more Liberal insiders, get rich. And the reason that the international trade minister, uh, Ms. Ng, was found guilty is because she was caught. Oh, yeah, and conservatives people? rang the alarm bell and referred this matter to the ethics commissioner. This follows on a long line of uh, findings of guilt by the ethics commissioner into members of this liberal government. Uh, the prime minister uh, has been found guilty multiple times of breaking ethics laws. His intergovernmental affairs minister, Mr. LeBlanc, found guilty. The disgraced former finance minister found guilty of breaking uh, ethics laws. And the trend continues now with their trade minister. This is um, going to cause uh, a lot of uh, concern for Canadians who, as I said, are having that challenge, uh, keeping the lights on at home. It's, uh, we have a tradition in, in this country uh, of ministerial accountability. And while it often seems to be absent in, these, uh, in this government bench under these Liberals, it is, of course, cause with this finding of guilt uh, for the international trade minister missing to resign. Uh, pa, pa bon. <laughs> Can I, just to go on that, Trudeau wants Trudeau twice, more than the um, Should it not be time that there should be some real penalties for ministers who violate the act? All it is now is, I'm sure you'll give them a political headache in QP, but that's about it. Well, we, we've been saying for several years that there needs to be real consequences, but the, the consequence has always been in our Westminster system that when a minister has demonstrably uh, done wrong, that, that they resign. Not only that the, the prime minister would be prepared to accept that resignation, that they proactively offer it. They made an awful lot of hay about a conservative member who, um, who stood by the truth uh, last week in the House of Commons and talked about parliamentary uh, tradition. Um, but we've got ministers found guilty of breaking acts of parliament, breaking laws passed by this place. Um, and, uh, and so we'll be looking for, um, looking for Miss Ng to appear today and, uh, and to offer her resignation.